Time 3 and welcome back to Pokemon Platinum Randomizer. In the last episode we flew back here to Jubilife City. No we didn't, well I guess we did, but we headed over west. Don't question the fact that I legitimately had to like work out which way was east and which way was west. I really should just know off by heart without having to, you know, do the little thing and point each way, go north, out, north, east, south, west every time. I really shouldn't have to do that at this point in my life, but I still do. But anyway, we made it to this point, and I said that I just battled these guys off screen. That's the bike, not the back. And this is how my team's looking at the minute after battling them all. Um, I feel like I caught a Pokemon off screen as well, but I cannot for the life of me remember what it is. And when I say I caught a Pokemon, I mean I just caught it to see, um, you know, what its stats and ability was like. I mean, it's entirely probable that I didn't. But my brain is just telling me that I did, and ooh, chill game. Oh dear, I don't know. Long time no see. Oh, you look puzzled. I'm Professor Rowan's assistant and Luke's father. Ooh, yay. Free upgrade though. You can now display images of male and female Pokemon and I'll leave you to carry on with your thing for the Professor project. That's the one. There's probably nothing to worry about. I'll be on my way. Ooh, why does it lag? Why? The g game you got no business doing that. Why would you do this to me? Maybe you took the boat to Iron Island. A hidden machine, eh? I appreciate a good free hidden machine. Uh, what's this? What am I getting? Ooh, a TM48. Isn't that a skill swap? Yeah. I was gonna say, I'm not exactly gonna make use of that either though, am I? Because apparently I'm... I don't know. So I can move one block at a time without it dying. <laughs> so we're just gonna have to live the game like this now, I guess. Uh, why? Uh, oh, my. oh, this guy's the move deleter, isn't it? Yeah, he is. Right, okay, cool. I mean, I don't think I need the move deleter right now, but maybe at some point in the future I will. Who can knows, for I certainly do not. Yeah, it's as soon as I move more than one block at a time, the game just seems to poop out on itself, and I don't know why. Why, game? You've been fine up to this point. Oh dear. Um, okay, Wi-Fi Plaza, blah de blah de blah Oh, hold up a sec. Right, okay, so... It only seems to die when I start recording and when I move, like, more than one block. This is weird. Why would you do this game? I am V-confused. <gasps> Oops, hey Tori, you're going to challenge the gym leader at past here, eh? Someone should check to see if you're ready for the challenge, and that someone is me with my brand new gym badge. Yeah, and this impromptu battle challenge is why I put Janelle up first. <laughs> Just because this guy always seems to start out with his Staraptor, Starly, Staravia, whatever you want to call it, and why can I hear construction noises outside? My window's closed. Oh dear. Oh well. No point complaining since we took down a Staraptor in one hit. Right, Terracross. Yeah, let's use Carmel, why not? And I can even use my fancy new flamethrower attack, even though I'm not sure how new it is at this point. But, you know, I'd say you know what I mean, but maybe you don't. Oh well. Wow, Carmel, you suck something fierce. Oh well. I mean, at least it got burnt, so this Brick Break isn't going to do nearly as much damage. That is something that I can happily live with. Now, that guy that we talked to when we came into this place, he mentioned a HM on Iron Island. Um, I guess him mentioning that suggests that Iron Island isn't really a... 
uh, a secondary place, I guess. I was thinking second. I was thinking of the word not necessary. It's an unnecessary area. I could have just said that. Well done, brain. Okay, cool. Thanks, me. Right, it's not necessarily a place that we need to go to, was what I was thinking, but since there's a HM there, I may have been wrong. And something tells me that Rose isn't going to win this fight. I regret using Petal Bounce. <sighs> you had one chance, Rose, and you blew it. Fine, I guess Thunderbolt's going to have to finish the job. I just hope we're not going to need grass for anything else, in, for anything else in this battle. Because we are royally screwed if we do. <coughs> but in other news, our first Pokemon has reached level 40 as well. Rose Raid, oh, I'm not even going to bother switching Janela, I can just use Fly. Which is precisely what I'm going to do. Because honestly, why wouldn't I? You know, I was about to say I would have thought that a Rose Raid would have been faster than a than a Drift Blim, but I suppose <clears throat> there's a five level difference. I don't know. To be honest, I don't know how much of a difference that would make. Especially when Rose Raid are traditionally quite fast Pokemon. Or they have it I don't know, have at least a decent speed stat. Oh well, but last up is an annoying Rapidash. We've gotten out tight to spots in this plenty times before. Now, you see in the Pokemon anime, Pearl would be able to turn this around and beat my entire team with this Rapidash. But, unfortunately for him, the games are nothing like the anime and he will be decimated. Ta-da! Ah, what a nice decimation. You're telling me I lost? Indeed I am, child. Indeed I am. Listen up. Let me tell you who's going to take on the Pokemon League and become the champion. It's going to be me, because you're definitely not. And he's saying I should go to Iron Island and- Oh, it's not dying anymore! Okay, I guess I just needed to battle, maybe? Who knows. Alright. Now, I feel like other than that one rare candy... Rose hasn't really gotten me anything good from her pickup ability, so I'm thinking it might be even more worth it just to give her the Miracle Seed instead. Mm, just because it doesn't seem, you know, worth it at all. Alright, where is this Miracle Seed? It's down here somewhere, there it is. Miracle Seed! Now I just want to quickly check, like, my medicine. Whoop, that's the wrong way. Right, how many rag candies do I actually have? Oh, four. Cool, not bad. But I feel like I'm probably just going to save those all for the Elite Four, or like just before the Elite Four. So I can give like some of my Pokemon just like a final little level buffer before we head in there. Right, the... Right. Isn't the harbour in, isn't that the place where the Darkrai event happens? I feel like it is, but I'm not sure. Right, hello dude. Do you want to set sail? Well, ooh, I shouldn't have done that immediately. Actually, you know what, it doesn't matter. It's just that you can get a Pokemon egg, spoiler warning, from Iron Island, but you have to have one slot free to actually get it. And like, unlock a... and unlock something like post game but you know what since I'm not really sure I'll be doing much of the post game I don't really think it matters to be honest yeah and if it really does matter I can always come back and do it later you are okay you're Tori I'm Riley I'm a trainer and yes it is a bit odd I'd be training here anyway it's nice to meet you here's a gift okay that was easy <laughs> oh, dear. <clears throat> but sure, I'll go help with his training, I guess. I don't know which way he went, though. 
Um, -da 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 -da. I want to have a quick look around both the left and the right side first, so... I'm just going to quickly repel. Right, there's a child there. Aha, uh -huh, but there are... There is not one this side. Nice. Hmm. Now I'm just trying to remember... Oh, okay. I was about to say, I'm just trying to remember where the other move tutors are, and I remembered. There's one in... Not the... Not in Canalave City, but the city after that, where the seventh gym badge is. The second of the three move tutors is there, and the last one is in the post-game area. But honestly, since all of the moves that they have are randomised, I'm not really sure it makes much of a difference anyway. Like, in what order we'd find them. Right. But I guess, like I, like I was saying about optional areas, turns out Iron Island, like the inside of the caves, is an optional area, which I completely... Well, I didn't... It's not that I didn't think it wasn't optional, I am really screwing up the sentence. Thing is, I didn't... No, wait. You get the HM from here. Right, that makes sense to my brain. Right. I thought that the train that coming to Iron Island was entirely optional. But clearly it's not entirely... Wait, it's partially needed because you need to come here for the HM strength. But it is optional in that you don't have to come in the caves. <laughs> there. That was way harder than it needed to be. <laughs> oh dear. Right, where is Riley? Because, spoiler warning, Riley is the same kind of person, like, same kind of trainer that Cheryl is. In that, that you go through, like, a place, and, like, they are there to heal your Pokemon every step of the way. Right, there's a Yanma. You know what my brain realised? I put Celeste up first, in, like, preparation to come into a cave to deal with, like, all the rock types and the steel types. Completely forgetting that everything's randomised. I am not a smart man. Although I'm guessing maybe some of the trainers will have rock and ground types and steel types. I don't know, I'm trying to... I'm just pulling at straws. Pulling at like, yeah. Grasping at straws, not pulling at straws. Well done me. Grasping at straws, just trying to make some sense of this. Ah dear, right. So I'm just going to quickly throw another repel up, battle this child and her further down into the cave, because I would like to find Riley. Now I'm not sure whether I'll make it through the entirety of Iron Island in this episode, it may sort of just leak over into the next episode. Lovely word to use, I realise. And just because I can't remember how long Iron Island goes on for, slash takes, to complete. Who knows? But um, I'm thinking this is like thinking a little bit ahead, or a lot a bit ahead, like for Victory Road. I'm thinking I might wander through Victory Road before recording it and like just battle all of the trainers, just so that like it doesn't take like three episodes to get through the place. I mean, it's just to make this, just to make the let's play go a bit quicker. It's not that I want it to be over. It's just that I don't want to spend like far too long, and there's an item down there that I want. I don't want to spend like just far too long in one area, which may accidentally end up happening here. Oops. <laughs> right. Let's up. Not run into the barrels like twice or three times. Right, let's get the item and then head up back these stairs. Wow, I... I cannot speak today. There is something legitimately wrong with my speech patterns today. Why? Right. Now, whichever one Riley is down... Yep, Riley's there, so I'm gonna go down the other one first. Just so that I don't accidentally miss out on any items... 
and we Right, let's just dodge these workers for now. Iron Tail, um, I mean, if possible, I guess I could teach it to Carmel. I guess. Right, and Pietro can learn it as well. Hmm, I don't know. I mean, obviously Pietro would just normalize it. Ooh, a hunchcrow. Sorry, uh, Pietro would obviously normalize it, but since Pietro's physical attack is better than his special attack, it could be a decent move to teach. However, it's the fact that Iron Tail only has 75 accuracy, and I'm not a fan of I'm not a fan of moves that don't have 100 accuracy. I like knowing that my moves are gonna hit. Okay, Mawile. <laughs> this Mawile has Drizzle for its ability. I'm not going to question it. Right, I feel like there's a hidden item around this area. Oh, and there is a Star Piece. Cool. I shall have to take that back to the Fuego Ironworks to get another set of shards. Is that shiny? I can't tell. No, it's not, because it didn't sparkle. I thought Centret were more brown than that, like the shades of brown were darker and not as yellowy gold. Oh well, I'm not going to question it. Since it didn't sparkle, it's obviously not shiny like that level 4 Yan Mega in the PC that we have. <laughs> Oopsie. There we go, this was the kind of Pokemon that I was preparing for by putting Celeste up first. Right, and I've just realised I'm not really going to be able to use Surf that much, seeing as though in gen Generation 4 was the first generation where it hit your like, teammate as well. Yeah, oh, that could be a little problematic for me. Oh well. Hey, okay, look, safe to me, not a problem in sight. His spanner was very shiny and golden. Right, and we've not gone over to where this guy's wandering around, so let's just zoop, zoop straight past him and steal these items, even though I'm not sure it's stealing. Although I'm not sure how some of these ones in the Pokeballs got placed there anyway. I really want a snow rent. But haven't I used a Glalie already? I feel like I have. I legitimately can't remember whether I've used a Glalie in a Let's Play before, but I feel like I have. But at the same time, I feel like I haven't. Oh well. Honestly, I'm not going to catch one unless it's a female. Like a female snow run, so... Yeah, it's unlikely that we'll take it. But like I said, I feel like I've used a Glalie before, so I might just avoid using it, like, full stop. The working class. Oh, there go my keys falling slightly. Right, just a magnemite. I can deal with. I guess I can just use a bubble beam for that. Right, and if he's got just like another dedicated steel type, I can give Carmel. Oh, maybe I can't just use bubble beam. Oopsie. <laughs> Oh well, I suppose at least with Magnet Bomb it's only a not very effective move. It could be worse, I suppose. Alright, Celeste gains a little experience, and yeah, it's just another Magnemite. Let's give Carmel another chance to redeem herself. I say redeem herself, she's a good Pokemon. I guess it was just because it's the trainer's Pokemon. Oh well. To be fair, I always thought Ninetales had good special attack as well as special defense. I guess I've just been lied to all of my life. <laughs> ah well. She took down the Magnemite and that's the important thing. So I shall just run out here. And yes, I have actually been confused a few times by the, like the miracle seed that Rose has thinking it's something she's picked up. But anyway, Tori, I'm glad to see you here. If you don't mind, let's team up. The Pokemon seem to be restless. And yes, for right now, we've teamed up with Riley. But 
I think that's going to be it for this episode, so thank you for watching, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with the rest of my videos, and I will see you guys next time for more Pokemon Platinum Randomizer. See you then.